Hello everyone. In this INR number 65, I am going to discuss another very important topic for NEET PG and FMG exam that is called as rhinoscleroma. Right. So what is rhinoscleroma? It is also known as woody nose because nose will be hard like a woody and they are also called as hebra nose or tapir nose, which I will tell you later on why they are called as woody nose, hebra nose or tapir nose. Right. So basically these are a chronic inflammation and in this you will see the granuloma so that is why it is chronic granulomatous disease right and this is a chronic granulomatous disease of nose also and as well as respiratory tract so it can involve other part of the respiratory tract nose and respiratory tract right so please remember it can involve other parts also right who is responsible for this chronic granulomatous rhinoscleroma so that causative agent is a bacteria klebsiella rhinoscleromatous Right. So Klebsiella rhinoscleromatis is also known as fresh bacillus. And when you are going to see the histopathology from the lesion, you will see the granulomas as it is already I have told you chronic granulomatous lesion. So granuloma will be seen. You will be finding granulomas along with plasma cell and macrophages. So because of these two cells, plasma cell and macrophages, we will find two diagnostic finding. What are the diagnostic finding? Mikulic cells and Russell bodies. So these are diagnostic of rhinoscleroma. Why I said plasma cell and macrophage they form the this thing because when you are seeing a macrophage, macrophage will form the mucolage cell. So you can see these are these are vacuolated macrophages. You can see there is a nucleus and all things are clear. So these are vacuole. So vacuolated cytoplasm is present in the macrophage, right? And in this vacuole, what they are containing? They are containing phagocytos klebsiella bacteria. So that klebsiella rhinoscleromatis is present inside this vacuole. So this macrophage with bacteria is called as macrophage with this bacteria is called as mucolage cell. That, that is why I said macrophage. Then come to the plasma cell. What you are going to see in the plasma cell, you will see the Russell bodies. So you can see all these are eosinophilic homogeneous inclusion within the plasma cell. So you can see some of the eosinophilic cells are there. So these are the Russell bodies. So what is Russell bodies? These are homogeneous eosinophilic immunoglobulin inclusion within the plasma cell, right? So Mikulic cell and Russell bodies are diagnostic of rhinoscleroma, right? So these are important point on the biopsy. Clinically, when you will see this patient, they will be having three clinical stages, atrophic stage, granulomatous stage and cicatricial stage. So these are three stages in atrophic stage. See the name itself is telling everything will be damaged or atrophied because of extensive crusting. There will be a foul smelling nasal discharge because of the tissue destruction, right? Atrophy means tissue has been destroyed. After destruction, they will form the crust. Then that crust will be having uh, inflammation. They will be having foul smelling order. So that is called as atrophic stage. Granulomatous stage means that inflammation is flourishing. Extensive granuloma will be there. And that extensive granuloma will be causing damage. And that will make the nose as a hard. So that is why it is called as woody nose or hebra nose. So now you can see that hebra nose or woody nose. So this is becoming hard because of extensive granuloma. So they resemble like a hebra nose. That is why it is also called as hebra nose, right? So hebra nose is because of extensive granuloma causing damage and this will be hard. You can see because of severe inflammation, they will become harder in consistency, right? So that is why they are compared with hebra nose or woody nose. So this is justified. Now third one is cicatricial stage. What will happen here? See, because of the granuloma, destruction was going on. After that, after destruction, you will have extensive fibrosis, right? Extensive granuloma followed by extensive fibrosis and extensive fibrosis will be causing nasal deformity or stenosis. So you can see nasal deformity and stenosis is there. So in this area, you can see nasal stenosis and deformity, which is showing you a characteristic tapir nose. So because of this deformity or stenosis, we will compare this as a tapir nose. So why this is called as tapir nose? Because it is a, it is having big snout this is a big mammal right it's a big mammal called as tapir and they are having very big snout that is why it is called as tapir nose right so this is the important point at the cicatricial stage right atrophic granulomatous and cicatricial stage right granulomatous stage will form the woody nose or hebra nose and cicatricial stage they will form the tapir nose right so we can see tapir nose is here 
tapir nose here hebra nose is here right what should be the treatment drug of choice will be streptomycin and tetracycline you will give and radiotherapy you should not prefer because this is not effective it's a it's a simple inflammation right because of infection so keep revising these topic for your exam especially for neat and fmg remember these are the these are the topics which are very frequently asked in our exam so keep revising them and best wishes for your exam.